Hello, everybody. Last Outrider here. Getting myself suitably lubricated to make a proper orc video. <clears throat> there you go. This video series is gonna be what the fuck is a bomb squig or a squig bomb? Let's find out right now. <clears throat> Orcs are at their most dangerous when they combine their primitive brutality with the weird weapons churned out by their mech boys. Tank busters are a perfect example of this phenomenon. These self-styled big game hunters stalk the armored vehicles of the foe as though they were wild beasts, tearing oil-slick trophies from the smoldering carcasses after each kill. To bring down their chosen game, tank busters employ as much high explosives as they can get their grubby green hands on. Such ordnance is brought to bear through such tried and tested means as uh. Firing it <clears throat> on the end of a rocket, clamping it to a tank's hull, or, most satisfyingly of all, simply strapping a bomb to a big stick and hitting the tank with it really hard until an explosion occurs. Yet perhaps the most unusual and certainly the most entertaining tool of the tank busters trade are the ferocious little bastards known as bomb squigs. The nature of the squig. A bomb squig is a ball of rubbery flesh and coiled aggression about the size of an ogren's head. Stubby, muscular legs and a spiky tail provide these beasts with balance and an alarming turn of speed. Their piggy little eyes glare belligerently from beneath a set of man-trap claws stuffed with massive crooked fangs. The woeful stupidity of an average bomb squig renders it utterly fearless. It's one instinct being mindless aggression. Lacking the sense and depth perception to work out when their intended prey might be a bit on the big side, attack squigs will chase down and attempt to devour anything that moves. While well equipped to take the arm off an orc with a single chomp, squids that clamp their jaws around the shin of a packing of a passing dreadnought will meet with more underwhelming results. It's probably after watching a pack of squigs chasing madly after an enemy tank that some bright spark thought of strapping landmines onto little bastards. Though the name of this pyrotechnic pioneer is lost and forgotten. The idea of strapping bombs in order to blow an enemy tank sky high has never gotten old. <laughs> Next they're going to be talking about a short fuse. And this is going to have to do with uh, something with snake bite runt herds from what I can see. I will see you then. Bye.